Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to this card making project. In this project, we're going to make a beautiful butterflies card. I'm going to be starting off using an 8x8 white square card base. I'll show you what size it is on our cardometer. It's the largest of the sizes that we use. And for anybody that thinks they can't get hold of them, there'll be a link at the bottom where I've actually designed um, the actual cards and the envelopes available for you to purchase and download to make. So together with all the details for everything that I do use will always be in the description box below the video. It'll also always be on my blog from now on, so you might want to check that as well. So I shall give you the link below and then if you bookmark it you can check back every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So this is our card base and I'm going to start off, as always, I'm going to make the inside because I know so many of you really enjoy the insides and seeing the ideas that I come up with for the inserts. So what I've done is I've taken a sheet of ivory cardstock and I've cut it just less than an inch short to the actual seam of the card and I've rounded the edges at one side only and I've got double sided tape on the back of it and I am simply going to add the paper and it's roughly 100 to 120 GSM it's the ivory paper that I always use so I'm just going to place that into the card like so leaving the gap at one side here and for this I've cut a section from the Perfect Layers palette from Anna I've put double sided tape on it and I'm simply going to add this over the edge of our ivory paper that we've just added so that creates a seam and I'm just going to trim off the excess that we've got at both sides just to make it nice and neat there we go so that's the start of our inside next what I've done I've already got we'll just wait to refocus there we go I've already got um, a stamped image that I've st sorry I've already got a section of the paper from the rose collection and I've stamped it uh, in a section where it's plainer so that you can actually see the sentiment I've put double sided tape on the back of it and all I'm going to do is simply add this to the centre of our card just over the seam of the pink and the ivory like that so there's a nice amount of space for you to write on still if you've got a nice long message or a note but if you haven't it's got the sentiment on there for you just to write to and from so that's the inside and I think that looks really cool actually it's really pretty and it's going to turn in with the outside so for the outside of our card I'm starting off with a layer and I've been asked about mats and layers this week now we always work in mats and layers for cards because it either builds up a little bit of height and texture into the card and it adds interest now I, I always try and start with a layer for the basis of, of my card like this, just a background layer so that you're not only seeing the actual card but you're seeing the first little section of colour around the outside so that's my first layer my second layer is going to be a floral layer now again I've added flat tape on this I'm not raising it up so it's actually going to be two flat layers on top of each other and I'm going to position this just over the top of the previous layer so it's showing you just a touch of the base and then giving you a glimpse of what else there is 
if you're feeling really economical with your cardstock you could cut out the middle section of the base layer and then keep it to use for something else but I'm quite happy to use mine as a full layer to keep the weight on the card so next what I've done is I've cut out four actual pieces of the cardstock from the rose collection and on three of them I've added a band of floral paper now to do this I've simply cut out an inch wide from the paper folded it around the back and then added my tape over the top of it to hold it in place I've done the same for three of them and for the fourth one I've added pink cerise ribbon instead I've done exactly the same method of folding it around the edge and then putting the tape over the sides to hold it in place so I've got four square shapes of the actual cardstock they've all got rounded corners I've used um, a rounded corner punch to get those and I'm going to start off by adding these onto the card I've set them all onto 3D foam and that's 3D foam tape so I'm going to position them like so and I'm going to add them all so that you can see how it all builds up and this would be great to be able to use with your scraps because you could use your scraps for around the actual squares now I know so many of Anna's kits turn in together so you'd probably be able to find that you'd be able to use maybe a paper from one collection with a paper from another collection and make it go a whole lot further so I'm simply trying to make sure that I get them as straight as I can as I'm looking through the camera and now this is the final one for our base of squares and that's the one with the ribbon so again try and get it relatively straight against the others so that's the first layer of our squares next what I've done is I've taken three of the florals and cut three smaller squares and I've just slightly inked the edges with a pink ink pad again it's one of Anna's and I shall put the details in the description box below so they've all gone onto 3D foam tape and then I'm simply going to add them over the centre of the square that we've just added so it's building another layer and this time with it being on the foam it's a little bit higher again so they're going to go in the middle for all three and this is the final one like so she says peel the back of the foam away there we go and that's the last one I've got a sentiment that I've already added onto 3D foam as well this sentiment again is from the rose collection from Anna and it is as it's come it's got a little bit of gold foiling on so it matches perfectly and that's going to go over the square with the ribbon on next what I've got is from the sticker sheet from the rose collection I've got three butterflies and I am simply going to add the three butterflies on top of the three squares that we've just made and I'm just putting them at slight angles over the top and I'll just pop the last one on which is a beautiful blue one and position it slightly at an angle like that and then to finish off the card I've got some satin ribbon in the cerise that matches the ribbon that we've already used on the actual square and I'm just going to pop the bow over the top of the sentiment 
like that. And that is our card finished. And that is such a pretty card. Easy to make. And it just looks so gorgeous. Inside and out. And I am sure anybody would love to receive that. So I'd like to thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to comment. Please feel free to give me the thumbs up if you've enjoyed watching this. And thank you so much. I'll see you next time.